report. We are at the Justice Center in downtown Portland, Oregon. The protests are going on tonight again. I'm interviewing people. Hey, sir, what's your name? Rowan. Okay. And what brings you out to the protest tonight? What's it? What, what personally makes you want to come out to these things? I come out here to observe and protect my people. Okay. All right. All right. Have you, is this your first night out, or have you been coming out? No, I come out every night. Every night? I've been out every night. Right on, right on. So, I'm trying to think of a good question. I guess we'll just jump to the big question then. If you could have the perfect world outcome out of all these protests and all these movements that are happening right now and the riots, what would you want to see happen out of, after all this? Holy reform. Police reform? Yeah. Well, what does that look like to you? A lot of people, that's like, there's very wide-ranging answers to that question. Well, I'm from, I grew up in Alabama. Alabama? So, so yeah, so it pretty much down there where I grew up at. You got to get it how you live. Basically, that means you're not going to get an education because your teacher going to constantly tell you that he gonna be dead for you 21, 22, or 23. Like, your teachers told you that? Oh yeah. Like, uh, uh, what, what, what kind of school? Elementary school. Elementary school they were telling you that. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, they're going through all that. And then I done been to prison for marijuana. Like, going to prison for marijuana and getting out it be like this. So you grow up in a neighborhood. Wherever you grow up at, the police get to know you. And if you ain't, like, if you if you got trouble in your background, then you, like, got a target on your back. So when they approach you, they approach aggressively. Like, it don't matter who you is. You could be 20 years in the clip, like I am right now. I'm 20 years in the making. I ain't had a felony in 20 years, but, I get approached after they run my license, they want to search my car, everything else, but you know, it is what it is. It's just the way it is. So they just kind of follow you the rest yeah, of your life, huh? need to change, yeah. Because you got other kids growing up, and they going to go through the same shit, bro. Ain't nobody studying them, man. They don't fucking care. They don't care about them kids. Yeah. I'm one of them kids they ain't care about. That's why I'm here. I want to see something change, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask you, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of word I'm looking for, but uh, I don't mean to stick it in your face, but I'm curious, you went to a prison for marijuana and now marijuana is legal. How's, how does that make you feel? You know it is what it is, man. This day system. Shit, this shit been going on well. Yeah. It's crazy. There's, It's legal in states like Washington and Oregon. And then, and, and then other states that still still carries heavy heavy penalties for just marijuana possession is, or, or distribution. You know, it's only for a certain group of people, man, that don't nobody give a fuck about. They lock them up and throw away the key. It like you know, it like them placing you in a coffin alive for marijuana. Yeah, yeah. that's harsh. Well, all right, I appreciate your point of view and your interview. Oh, yeah, Thank you very there. much.